The weather outside is not your friend this time of year. We have rain, we have freezing rain, we have black ice, we have snow, and some heavy winds. I'm gonna give you some tips to be safer on the road. I hope you will share them with your friends and there's plenty to discuss, some things you may not even know about. If you wanna hear more, stay right with us. Welcome back to the channel, I'm Lauren Fix, and this is 4 Minute Friday. Here's what's going on in your automotive world. Here's some automotive tips that you need and nothing you don't. This week's show is brought to you by Hertz.com. Hertz Rental Cars has always had some pretty cool cars, but now they have a giveaway. It's Hertz.com slash Camaro sweepstakes, where you have a chance to win a brand new Camaro ZL1 that has been really coolly modified by Hendrick Motorsports. It's a partnership with Hertz and Hendrick where they allow you to win the car, but you also get to go to Charlotte Motor Speedway and there's all kinds of other goodies. If you would love to win a brand new Camaro, check out their sweepstakes site at hertz.com slash Camaro sweepstakes. Make sure to sign up quickly because November 15th, this contest ends. And if you miss the contest, you go, oh, I wanted to win. You can go to select Hertz.com locations and rent a Camaro ZL1 that has been modified by Hendrick. That would be totally cool. I think you should show up at grandmother's house in one of those really awesome cars, like do donuts in the street or something cool. I would probably get you in trouble, but it would be fun. Let's put four minutes on the clock. Now I've looked outside and I live in Buffalo, so you expect that it'll be snowy. Actually, it's not snowy here yet, but it is cold, it is crappy. We are getting rain, some freezing rain and a little bit of black ice. But I have a co-host of mine who lives in Chicago. And two weeks ago, he had snow on the ground already. They were plowing already. And what does that mean? It means slowdowns on the street. We all know that. Now, hopefully you're smart enough to have prepared your car and seen our video in the past, getting ready for fall. If not, you can check out up here and you can check out the video. But if you haven't got your snow tires on yet, I suggest you do. There is a huge difference between all season tires and snow tires. Why? All season tires are like a pair of sneakers. They work great until it reaches below 40 degrees. And that doesn't make a difference where you live in the country. Below 40 degrees, your all season tire does not have the same quality of grip and braking and safety and handling as a winter tire or a snow tire. Now, if you're going to purchase a set of separate tires, I have winter tires for all my vehicles, including my SUVs, because it's the smartest way to get around. Everyone I know has them because I've convinced them the difference by letting them witness it themselves. And once you have, you realize that a snow tire or a winter tire is your smartest choice. It'll give you the best handling and traction. Thanks for that little commercial. I guess you can go to Tire Rack. <laughs> They're not paying me. I wish they were. So why I, why I go with winter tires is you get the best traction. Now, what about anybody else who's ready to go? Yeah, I've already done that, Lauren. I got that. I followed your directions. I already knew what to do. Got my good car sleeping, hooked up the trickle charger, put the car cover on. Great. I've done it with a lot of my toys too, and I'm already ready for spring. I hate this weather, but because I live here and I have no choice and I am here, I always tell people, remember one thing, there's a lot of people who don't have a clue. And I'm sure you've already seen the horror stories of people that get out there and forget how to drive in winter. They're skating around the roadways, they're tailgating, they're driving too fast for the conditions, they're hitting the brakes and they're sliding through intersections. So with that thought in mind, I think the big word of the week is distance. Give yourself distance between you and the car in front of you. Remember that somebody who's tailgating you, if they want to get in front of you, I'd pull over and let them go. I don't want to be a part of your accident. You don't want to be a part of their accident. So that's something that you need to keep in mind. Now, what else do you need to know? Well, here's some tips that you probably don't know about. Don't be a victim of circumstance. If you see something stupid going on, your best bet is to slow down, let the situation happen or get off that roadway, especially if you see a lot of cars sliding through intersections, you don't wanna be that vehicle, so pay attention. Adjust your speed and anticipate difficult situations. It's just a matter of opening up your peripheral vision, seeing what's going on around you, and don't forget that rear view mirror because what's behind you does make a difference when it's in the winter. And now, my friend, the first rule of Italian driving. What's behind me is not important. Use grip effectively. When the roads are slippery, you know the car is going to step out on you, even all-wheel drive vehicles. So if that happens, steer slowly into the skid and accelerate a little bit. That doesn't mean slam on the gas or slam on the brakes. Everything's going to be smooth. A little bit of gas will drive it away. If you hit the brakes, you're more likely to make that skid worse. Remember, you want to escape from that situation, not try to stop the car and break through it because you will slide into something or someone. 
Turn on your headlights. One of my pet peeves, if it's snowing really badly outside and it's a total whiteout, you want your headlights on, not your high beams. You want people to see you. You want to see and be seen. And part of that is cleaning the snow off of all of the glass, off your headlights, off your turn signals, off your brake lights so the people behind you can see what's going on. And here's a tip. Take the snow off the roof of your vehicle, even if it's an SUV, because it may not be a lot now, but if it goes on the vehicle behind you and a police officer sees it, you're getting a ticket and they are enforcing that now. So keep in mind, just because you're lazy and you don't want to be cold, get yourself an extended snow brush and wipe off all that stuff on the roof of your vehicle so you don't get a ticket. For those of you that have all wheel drive vehicles or four wheel drive vehicles and you think, I don't have to worry about it. I got snow tires. I can go through anything. Remember, don't overestimate all wheel drive and four wheel drive. I drive a really great vehicle with snow tires and I can go through pretty much anything, but there are certain conditions and other people on the street that you need to be aware of. Because if you think that you can do anything and someone decides to move in front of you, you're going to be a piece of them. So keep in mind, just because you have all wheel drive doesn't mean that you are a superhero. Although many of us think that. Most vehicles on the street today have anti-lock brakes, ABS. I say that gives you the ability to brake and steer, but it's anti-lock braking systems. But if you engage ABS, remember that pulsation under your foot? That is ABS doing its job. Don't take your foot off of it. Hold your foot down. You need to be able to brake and steer. That can be your friend, but don't overestimate it because sometimes the distances are longer and people think it's shorter. It's actually slightly longer because it needs to stop the vehicle safely. So use those safety features to your benefit. Don't use those passive safety features because that means you're probably in an accident. And remember during the day when it's nice and bright, outside and the snow is on the ground, it's going to cause some serious glare. Get yourself a good set of sunglasses because that will help cut some of the glare so you can see what's going on around you. It makes a big difference if they're polarized as well. And one last tip for those of you that have to drive up some steep hills, try to get some momentum. In other words, it doesn't mean make a running start for it, but you want to carry that speed up the hill because if that road is icy and those of you that live on hills know that you're going to be sliding backwards and that could be into someone or something. Don't let that person be you, which is why you want to get the best grip possible. For those of you living in the upper half of the country in serious snow country, buying a set of chains could possibly save your life. So don't go in places that say chains. Don't think that you can handle it with your all-wheel drive and snow tires. You may need them. So again, follow the conditions in your area or if you're traveling to certain areas, be prepared. you got the holidays coming up and we want you to be safe on the road. And of course, if you're thinking about buying a new car, you can check out some of the ones we've reviewed, some tips as well, social media down below. If you've got a snowy car story you want to tell everyone, please put that down below. We love to hear your stories. And we thank you so much for sharing this, liking it, and your comments. And we will talk to you soon. Make sure to give us a like and hit that little bell so you know next time we post another review or a four-minute